Happy birthday to oh, you. Man. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Michael. Happy birthday to you. Best birthday present ever is going to get solar. <laughs> That's right, guys. Today we are going down to uh, AM Solar. We're going to pick up a bunch of stuff. There was like four companies who agreed to provide all of the solar, which makes my life a lot easier and better. And all uh, it makes my life happy because it's going to be fun to wire it. <laughs> it's it's going to be great top of the line stuff. So uh, let's head on down there and go pick it up. to uh, AM Solar. We're going through the packing list uh, with Garrett. I don't know if you guys met him before, but uh, super rad guy and was the uh, catalyst of, of, of putting all this stuff together with these different companies. So we have four ZAMP uh, 170 panels and then we have a whole packing list full of stuff. Um, so do you want to explain what we got here? Yeah, so basically we broke the system down into several components, solar charging, battery bank, alternator charging, uh, AC input and AC output and DC output. And we try and keep everything organized so you can see which parts go with what. Um, some of the major components are the solar panels which were provided by ZAMP, they're 170 watt panels. Uh, Victron provided a 2,000 volt amp inverter charger system, and this is very generous of them. They also provided the solar charge controller and several, several other smaller components. And Lifeline is contributing uh, two 400 amp hour AGM batteries. So, starting from the roof, we got your four panels there. They go into the combiner box here, then to a master switch then to the charge controller, then to a breaker. We've got your lugs, your heat shrink, your cable management, mounts for the panels, sealant to seal the mounting feet and the combiner box. So that's everything you need there. Uh, the next box, let's see, we're gonna do battery bank. Um, yeah, battery bank, there it is. So we're putting two 6 volt batteries in parallel, I mean, no, sorry, in series. So you've got your cables to do all that and to connect to this shunt here. This is the battery cable, this thick stuff right here. Uh, you also get, uh, contributed by Victron, a battery monitor that talks to your phone via Bluetooth. Those, I had that one on the last one, and those are amazing, because you could just open the phone and see where you are. So easy to use with the Bluetooth communication, too. Instead of having to remember which sequence of buttons you push, you just talk to it on your phone like yeah. you do any other thing. Yeah, and if you guys remember when I was in Texas, I had a little issue with the uh, alternator. How I knew that was I checked the battery monitor and I noticed I wasn't getting a current from uh, the battery combiner so I went back to O'Reilly, swapped out an alternator in the parking lot and didn't get stranded on the side of the road. So for a couple hundred bucks it's highly worth it. And this is the DC output section of your kit. A lot of people don't do this but I find it's really helpful adding a battery protect which is a small device that interrupts the flow of current from your battery to your DC loads and it keeps you from over discharging your battery. So here it is right here. This one's a Victron BP65. And um, we also provide a switch to turn off all your loads. Mm -hmm. Six position DC fuse block, cables, uh, breaker to keep your current from getting too high. And just to make it easy for you, we threw in an outlet, which is dual USB and normal 12 volt. So that takes up one of the positions. You still have five other positions for fans Excellent. and lights or whatever Excellent. you want on there. I'm really excited for this uh, device here, this piece of equipment. Um, if, if you guys remember, I stopped by here frantically because I accidentally drained my AGM battery 
uh, past 12.2 or 50%. Um, and so I had to buy, you know, another seven, eight hundred dollars in batteries. So that is not some of the stuff. You know, you get what you pay for. When you get quality stuff like this, it will save you in the end. Uh, Dean, the schoolie, is dealing with some issues right now because he used some products that weren't top notch, and he might actually have to call you and order like three grand and stuff. <laughs> like it's not fun to repurchase stuff. I'm sure you have some stories about I've, that too. Yeah, I've, I've killed batteries. I've killed charge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. It's not fun. <laughs> buy, buy the m money. The money you spend is worth it when you're when you're doing solar. Don't buy the cheap stuff. Yeah. It's just. Yeah, that badge had actually a um, a panel with the um, w one of the cells burnt out. Uh, same thing with uh, Dean, the school he had one that burnt out. And um, yeah, I mean you can definitely go the the cheap route, but just know that something might fry and mess up everything just because of one small cheap part. Yeah, we so, warranty our systems, so uh, we try to make everything as idiot proof as possible. Like we don't let people screw them up. Well, I'm sure if there was a way in the beginning, I could have screwed it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's check out this alternator charging kit. So the key piece in this is the Victron uh, Cyrix battery combiner. This allows for a 230 amp to flow from your starter battery or alternator to your house battery. And it comes with a... Uh, a system which uh, is a boost, we've got this momentary switch here, mm -hmm. which allows you to, uh, if your starter battery's dead, you push that boost button and it'll allow your house battery bank to start your rig if you killed your battery. Yep, that those come in handy. The last one I had was a 50 amp, so this bigger one is going to be even better. I just, uh, for sure, I'm going to have to upgrade my alternator because that's a lot of current. That's more than my alternator puts out. <laughs> It's going to be a big lifestyle upgrade for you with all of this equipment. Oh yeah, this is like a pro equipment. This is like class A type stuff here. I'm just, right. I'm just excited to wire it because it's all like, you don't have to figure out what parts you need. It's like all right here and it's just, yeah. Yeah. there's not yeah. much thought that goes into it. And, and, and by the way, it. yeah, and by the way, uh, AM Solar is doing uh, schoolie kits. So if you want to see what com quality components they're using, uh, head on over to the website. Are we still doing the Jax 5 and the Jax 10? Yep, those promotion codes. 5 or 10% off for you guys uh, on everything under the sun, right? All your yep. products? Yeah, the Jax 5 works on everything. The Jax 10 works on select components. Cool. So the AC input, uh, your vehicle's going to be able to charge on shore power on a standard 15 or 30 amp connection. Um, Going over all this, we include the inlet. We're gonna have a shore power cord for you. This is the device that regulates the multi-plus inverter from Victron. You've got your sub panels, you got your breakers, your fuses, your communication cables, master switch, and we even gave you an AC outlet so you can see how everything works uh, for one of the circuits, and then you can just add whatever circuits you want with easily sourced, um, you know, residential uh, wiring. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah, looks like you've got everything you need. Holy crap. Uh, dude, high five. Thank you for helping me set this up. Uh, huge shout out to Victron. You guys are amazing. Lifeline, thank you for the batteries. Uh, Zamp, thank you for the panels. And um, I don't know, did I miss anything? AM Solar. AM, well, I, I thank you guys already. Uh, if you guys are curious how a proper schoolie system uh, kit, uh, what it looks like, what you should have in your kit, Head on over to the site. Uh, there's also diagrams and things like that. Um, Happy birthday! Yeah, this is. You get to play with I, I all, get this to all this stuff. I all this stuff. I'm. It's I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. So we're actually using the handicap door. Yeah, we'll take the whole pallet, dude. <laughs> we are. Uh, we are uh, transferring batteries. Oh, you can lift that thing up too. Yeah, there you go. So we're transferring batteries. We got all the gear in here. This is insane. I feel so blessed to be the recipient of so much high quality stuff. Um, so yeah. These are 116 pounds each. Look at that. So these are 6 volt, 400 amp hour uh, batteries. So thank you Lifeline. <laughs> thank you Victron. Thank you, Zamp, and thank you, AM Solar. Holy moly. Wow, this is unreal. What a cool day. Yeah, dude. 100, 
pony a piece? These things literally almost yeah. weigh as much as, as, a, as, much as me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, let's 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 fire away. Let's get this thing lifted, huh? <laughs> nice. Like a All right. <laughs> I'll take the stairs. Holy, holy crap. We just filled up the bus with so much stuff. Unbelievable. <laughs> I am blown away by the generosity of everyone, and uh, those are massive batteries, They weigh dude. more than me. No, they don't. They're yeah. like probably 30 pounds less than me. Yeah, that's, I, that's crazy. But, you know, um, so I guess what happened was Victron saw the video that we did when I installed a battery monitor and then got a hold of the guys here and at almost the same time I was selling my bus I received an email um, and they were like hey you know we're thinking about doing some stuff with this and that and I said oh cool well, I, you know I just you know I'm about to sell my bus oh no way let's do something together so this is how it all happened serendipity is all I can say show you what they're for. See my feet? <laughs> That's right. We got cruise control in this bad boy. All right, so on the topic of quality components, I think I perhaps mentioned my buddy Dean had some issues, the schoolie, with his uh, solar system. <laughs> and uh, Mitch over at AM Solar was on the phone with them for 45 minutes. And also, Dean sent me a message, was like, oh my God, thank you so much. He's awesome, he was on the phone with me for almost an hour, blah, 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 and I didn't know details. Mitch just texted me from AM Solar and he said, uh, it turns out his cheap charge controller not only blew up his stereo, it was cooking his batteries at 16 volts. For everybody who doesn't know, uh, that's more voltage than batteries uh, require. And apparently Dean put his head down next to the batteries and they were hissing. Hissing, like some kind of serp serpentine slippery snake, like um, So anyways, just another example of what can happen when you get the cheap stuff. Um, but also what can happen when you get good things from good people. They'll get on the phone with you and troubleshoot for like an hour. So, um, so yeah, it's high quality um, and uh, great customer support. And I'm super curious what Dean is going to do now. Oh, holy guacamole. You know what I mean? Hey, birthday boy! How's it going? <laughs> we made it back. We're back at the pad. Got all the stuff inside. Uh, man, I'm exhausted from driving. He's a. Are you exhausted? I'm, I'm just happy there's no leaks or anything. Yeah. The, thing, the thing ran like a champ. It did. It did. We, um, yeah, we took it down. Oh, it was like two hours each way, so maybe 200 miles plus today. Uh, tomorrow. We're gonna work on the plates. We are going to get new headlights. I'm gonna pick them up on the Oregon side because they were like 300 bucks or 250 bucks, I forget. Uh, I saved on sales tax, state sales tax. Uh, so it's worth it. We're, so we're gonna get rid of these hideous, terrible, dangerous headlights. And we're gonna replace them yet again with the GE uh, Nighthawk, which are fantastic. No, that's not sponsored. Um, but uh, I'm choosing to get them again because they are phenomenal. And the price went down, I think, 100 bucks from the previous time I bought them about a year and a half ago. So that's great. Uh, and then otherwise, we're going to load this thing up full of stuff and get ready to leave in two days. So tomorrow is basically our last day before we hit the road. Head east through Idaho, Montana, hot springs, mountains, maybe glacier, maybe not, because it might be full of snow. It's probably still full of snow. <laughs> And then on up into Canada. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video.